Hi. Yep, it looks like the Marshmallow 6 has come to the Lenovo 3 tab. Now today, I've had a nightmare on their site a little bit. If I go to the website via the computer, I've added this device and registered it, put in my serial number, and it told me I had warranty left, etc. Um, but then I went on to the uh, website via the tablet to see if I could get the updates because there was an update tool by the PC and I thought now let me see if I can try the the, the tablet and I didn't even bother doing the about software or about the, the device and then doing an OTA which is over the air update just by clicking some link on their website um, the next thing I know there's some message about an alert and so I said yeah fine update click OK now it's downloaded and although just before that it did this 49 megabytes um, update for some security but anyway so since going to the website it's then telling me it's going to update to an Android Marshmallow 6 which the weird thing is on the website it said TBD which is like to be determined well a nice surprise considering it was TBD you know so um, there we go it's busy installing the files I think we're gonna have to pause it here because this could take a little while and I'll unpause it and show the booting up etc um, okay Okay. So basically it's like a fresh start. Just go through, connect, choose your Wi-Fi, put the password in, connect. Now I also have 5G but that doesn't seem to be listed in there. So this is an only 2G slow device. Okay, I'm connected. It can take a while. Okay. So installing the 6 update has totally got rid of any Google account on there. I've got to put it all back on. Okay, so on the tablet, once you log into Google, you've got this uh, about backing up location services, which, uh, turn that location off, I don't mind backing up uh, passwords and stuff. Um, diagnostics and that, no thanks. Continue by green, I'm just going to click next there. Okay, payment info you can skip. Time's correct. Option to protect with PIN. Okay, so then you've got 
hide sensitive notification, I think I'll have that. It depends how it does it, it might be an option to, um, when I click next, scroll back. Yeah, I know that. Try again. Yeah, there may be an option for you to hide it so it doesn't display on the front screen when it's locked. Okay, so there we go, the model, the, the um, Lenovo. Set up device without apps and data. Well, I can't. Restore your apps and data from today. Yeah, okay. So it's going to restore the apps there. It's 34. Take a little while, that will. Restore. Okay. Okay, so Lenovo wants to... Uh, me to give it my user experience and in, you know how I use it and that so I'm going I don't want that yes please skip can't skip that Lenovo ID and so I'm going to pause it and try and do that right you would have missed that but I scrolled up that page and it said start using your Lenovo and I didn't have to create an ID. So basically now, nice little backdrop there. Some icons on the front. They look like my, my original ones, although McAfee seems to have been added there. I don't, it may have been there, I don't recall it being there. I've just clicked browser. I'm actually in it now. So there we go. Looks pretty similar to me. Slight changes. Okay, sync, whatever. Okay. Right, I want to close that browser. So, back to the top. Yeah, so everything seems pretty similar here. Bluetooth isn't turned on, which needs to be turned on. So it can connect to my speaker. Everything else seems to be okay. Let's go to the settings. This looks the same as before. Go to about tablet. Android security patches 1st of November. Although the update I just got, I'm surprised it's not later than that. Android version 601. So there we go. So what is it when we tap something? Keep tapping the software version. No, I'll keep tapping the Android version. Yep, there we go. Marshmallow. Tap it again, there we go, we get that. 